Hello and thank you for joining us. Today we highlight the just concluded Kenya International Investment Conference, bringing unlimited opportunities across all sectors. A must watch. For your next outdoor event, look no further than All Arabel, a secluded and serene location with mature trees and manicured lawns. Orange continues delivering quality home solutions at your doorstep. On our accessory spot, we bring you inspiring contemporary home decor. Stay tuned for this and much more. There is something for everyone. All Arabel is a secluded, serene getaway, ideal for corporate events, weddings, and private parties with manicured gardens and an old English colonial style home in the quiet Nairobi suburbs. Let's see what they have for us today. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Uh, this is all Arab. Uh -huh. um, it's a quiet, serene place. It's very quiet. Um, with large manicured gardens and this old 1940s English house. Oh. It's a colonial house that was built uh, by the Wazungus before they left, but <laughs> gladly they left it to us. Um, what happens here is uh, we host a lot of events. We host uh, corporate events where companies come and have their team buildings, their meetings, sometimes their parties. We have social events where people come and do their weddings, their um, graduations, their birthday parties, and all sorts of things. Uh, we also have a lot of people coming to shoot uh, TV shows here, um, as well as advertisements, the uh, TV advertisements. A lot of them are shot here and they like the quiet, um, the quietness of the place so, so that the mics don't keep picking too many sounds. The sounds you hear here are just wind through the trees. And the birds. And, and the birds, the many birds. Wow. We've been doing this since 2008. Um, that's when we started. Um, with not too many events, very, very few, because of course we had to break into the market. But uh, from 2010, second half, then it, it, it picked up. And every weekend now I realize that you have an event every Al weekend. Almost every weekend and sometimes even during the week. Wow. Especially for the corporates, wow. because they like to do their things wow. uh, during the week. So what do you offer here? We offer you the whole place. Mm -hmm. um, we don't deal with two clients at a go. It's always one client. Mm -hmm. um, even if it's a small party? Even if it's a small party, whether it's a wedding, whether it's a, a shoot that has just 30 people, we whether don't mix. Whether it's a corporate event? Whether it's a corporate event or whatever it is, we don't mix. We don't mix clients. Mm -hmm. So once you hire all Arabel, mm -hmm. you hire the entire place. If you're hiring the place for the guest house, which is uh, the, this is a four bedroom guest house in here. Mm -hmm. Even then, uh, we don't mix clients. So if we've got guests staying here, then we cannot have an event here. We give you our security, we hire police uh, whenever we have an event. And we ensure that you have, uh, either we give you the place and you bring in your supplies, uh, your, your service providers, or we give you a one-stop shop. Uh, for example, if we're talking about a wedding, we bring the caterers here, we bring the tents and deco and the infrastructure, uh, the cake, the photo and video, everything that you need, including even the executive vehicles. Because we've realized there's a lot of service providers out there and not all of them are, keep, reliable. Uh, are reliable, not all of them keep a high standard. Um, so we've gone through a process, through the years, we've gone through a process of vetting. For example, if it's a caterer, we find out what time did they come? Is the food hot? Is it enough? Is it tasty? Do they have enough wait staff? Is it fresh? Uh, is it fresh? Are they wait staff courteous? Do they clear up properly? Uh, if it's deco, is it wow? Do you walk in and just love it? And things like that. So over time, we've been able to put aside a number of service providers whom we approached and we partner with and then now we are able to give you a one-stop shop solution. Wow, let's see the garden. Sure. Um, we'll start this way. Uh, over here is 
the place where the activities that have more than a hundred people uh, happen. Mm -hmm. They happen over here. How many people why. can you take here? We can take 600. 600. To be honest, we can take about almost 2,000. Mm -hmm. But we don't like having that large number because when we have a large number like that, mm -hmm. the parking becomes an issue. The, we have a lot of damage and it ceases to be a private beautiful event. It ceases event. to be a private beautiful event. So we cap it at 600. Mm -hmm. And 600 is also quite a large it number. It is, it is. And um, here you can set up whatever tents you want, wow. whatever, in whatever fashion you want. Mm -hmm. Whenever you want a high table or whatever, there's enough, more than enough space here. But you also help people, don't you? Yes, yes, we show them how to do it. We show them uh, where the sun will be, at mm -hmm. what time, so that uh, in case they want to do it in the morning, uh, we'll tell them this is the better place in the afternoon this is a better place mm -hmm. and things like that mm -hmm. so you'll notice we have planted the trees on the edge yes to allow for uh, the different tent setups uh -huh. to happen here in the event i would like to have my function at night do you have electricity yeah, absolutely we have electricity and um, the light not just in the house but even in the garden the, the garden is lit up uh, this is also a, it's a modern neighborhood and a very secure neighborhood. All the roads are very smooth and generally well lit. So it's a place where you can have either your event during the day or, or at night and our security will always look after you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And water? Water is in plenty. Um, we have our usual supply. We've got extra storage at the back and we even have for the grounds, we have a well which is down here and uh, that well is almost overflowing, it's extremely full. If the group that is coming is uh, of a large number, such that the, the, the toilets in the house are, are not enough for them, then we arrange to have uh, the portable loos out there. We've vetted uh, very carefully and ensured that the people we, we, we deal with, the people we work with, bring extremely clean loos. They're the first ones in and the last ones out and uh, they have an attendant throughout the day, throughout wow. the time of the event. Wow. Um, they've got water, tissue, air freshener, and it is okay. As you notice, here we have a special place for trees. Yes. We have filled the place with almost 300 trees mm -hmm. uh, to add onto the old ones which are already there. Yes. Like these ones here which are these about... These are the old ones. These are about 80 years old mm -hmm. and they are called Rosalind trees. Uh -huh. And what we have done is we have dressed each tree with ah. different creepers. And if you look around, yes. you're going to see that all the trees have got different creepers, yes. which actually uh, we don't even need to guide. Uh -huh. they, they actually just grow their roots and hug the tree and grow up, 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 right to the top. Wow, wow. On this other side, we've got a place where children's entertainment is normally held it's a secure area so it, when you come with your children you can be happy they'll absolutely. be in a, they'll be taken care of absolutely and it's a safe distance from the the main event. event yes uh, sometimes kids uh, get bored yes so they need a place to run around and that normally happens there <laughs> um, the parking starts from uh, down there mm -hmm. and is all covered mm -hmm. by the trees mm -hmm. and it goes round this way mm -hmm right to the end of the property on that side. Wow. Um, and this is where we are able to fit uh, almost 200 vehicles. Mm -hmm. And uh, most events have all the cars parked inside here. Wow. The gate is just one, there's one entrance and one exit. So there's maximum control and uh, security. In the four bedroom uh, country style house, one of the bedrooms has actually been converted into a honeymoon suite. So when people have uh, their wedding here, they have the opportunity to come and spend the first night uh, in the honeymoon suite. It is quiet, it's comfortable, and uh, the following day, we'll make them a big breakfast, a mix of continental and English and American and African, and uh, they have uh, that breakfast when they wake up. It's not uh, any, any particular time and they eat quietly in the garden or wherever as they reminisce about the day before. And, and as then, they plan for their honeymoon. And as they plan for their honeymoon. It's a nice 
gap between the wedding and the honeymoon for them to recuperate yeah. and then uh, go for the honeymoon. The mix of the house and the garden uh, allows us to offer uh, our corporate clients uh, a place where they can uh, do their their thinking inside the house or we set up tents outside if they're a large number and the grounds offer a, a, a large comfortable place for them to do their team building, to stretch and work out and whatever they need to do. Um, the house is also used as a guest house. It's also a guest house. A lot of the clients that we get there are families, for example, who live abroad and have come for three weeks and don't want to stay in a hotel. Or the groomsmen for a wedding that's going to happen decide to sleep there so that in the morning they just walk out to the wedding or the bridesmaids for that matter or any of their guests who are from out of town or out of country. Um, in that respect we have this uh, four bedroom house and we have a two bedroom cottage that's just across the road that's also available for them. All Arabel has everything to offer. Absolutely. Asante sana. No Don't go away, we'll be right back. All Arabel is located in the popular suburb of Ridgeways off Kigwa Road. It is a 15-minute drive from Nairobi Central Business District. All banking services are available at Nakamat Ridgeways, Uchumi, Naivas Shopping Centers and Thika Road Mall. There are two major roads you can use to come to All Arabel, Kiambu Road and Thika Road. For all health matters, we have Gertrude Hospital, Aga Khan, Avenue and Mata Hospitals nearby. All Arabel, located along Kigwa Road in Ridgeways, lies an elegant, exquisite, enchanting manicured gardens with mature trees, All Arabel. An events venue and film location, All Arabel offers diverse entity with a goal to exceed your expectation. Package offers available for guests are social events such as weddings, parties, and retreats, corporate events such as board meetings, team building, workshops, and product launches, video and photo shoots including TV shows, interviews, documentaries, movies, and press advertisements. All Arabelle offers short letter accommodation in a colonial style house that is cozy, quiet, warm, and comfortable with no strict checkout times and flexible menus. Accommodation includes spacious lounge with a dining area, spacious fitted kitchen with an adjacent utility area, common cloakroom, a honeymoon suite, four bedrooms with inbuilt wardrobes, cozy designs and finishes, centralized DSTV connection and TV cabling, and capacity of 2,000 plus restaurant style seating and parking for over 200 vehicles. All Arabel offers one-stop services including public address, sound, DJ, standby generator, catering for all food and drinks, cakes, main cake and smaller cakes or pre-packs, tents, chairs, tables, bouncing castle, decor and flowers or plants, photography and videography, wedding transport and portable toilets, offering a stress-free event. The price is on inquiry. There you have it, All Arabel, the perfect getaway for all events. For information on this and other properties, visit our offices. In line with the upcoming festive season, Orange goes a step further to ensure you have the best home connectivity solutions. Uh, Orange Shop Galeria is located within Galeria Shopping Mall based in Karen. We opened our doors three years ago. Uh, this location was uh, chosen because of um, the, the need analysis that was done. The market was growing fast within um, Karen. 
uh, also the neighboring Rongai. Rongai is actually a fast uh, coming up uh, region. So there was need, instead of customers going all the way to town, um, we thought it good to have a shop here so that they, we don't inconvenience them to go all the way to town to look for orange products. Telecom Orange being an integrated telecommunication uh, service company, we offer a wide range of products and our main core business here at uh, Orange Galleria Shop is actually we sell airtime to our prepaid customers. We also offer voice solutions uh, on our GSM network. We provide data solutions that include um, uh, data solution on routers, various routers and modems. We also sell different types of devices and we also cater for customers who are coming to pay bills uh, for their postpaid services. Apart from that, we also do customer service. This is done by uh, finding out what customer need and proposing to them the requirements. And then we also provide them after sales services. If a customer comes, buy a product from Orange, and uh, after some time, the product is faulty. And if the product is within the warranty, we can either take it to the manufacturer repair center or we give the customer a new, a new product. Currently, Orange has just launched an exciting offer called um, Orange On Gear Plan. Orange On Gear Plan is a postpaid offer targeting individual customer. You realize that um, most customers are on prepaid, but we normally get inquiries for individual customers who would like to be on postpaid. So the Orange On Gear Plan came to solve that issue, whereby a customer can choose a plan, we have two plans. Either a customer can choose plan for 1,000, uh, whereby we allocate 1,000 uh, bundle offer every month to that customer, and they're able to make calls, send SMS, both internationally, and also make international calls. We also have Orange on Gear plan for 3,000. We allocate 3,000 bundle offer to their phone every month, and they're able to, to make calls uh, both uh, internationally and local and also to browse. Currently, we are running an Xmas offer which started uh, one week ago and it will run throughout uh, up to the end of uh, the year. You realize we are approaching the Christmas holidays and therefore most of our customers like sharing, coming to buy as gifts to their loved ones. So currently we have the Xmas offer and uh, we are providing three different types of exciting devices. One of them being called Alcatel Idol Alpha, uh, which has a very slick design with a um, camera up to 13.3 MP, very exciting. Apart from that, the phone comes with a free Orange Beamer subscription for one year and one month data subscription. Orange Shop Galleria welcomes all our customers within Karen, Langata, and Kajiado counties. We tell them they are welcome to Orange. When you reach Orange Galleria Shop, we offer you excellent service and we take care of you. Karibuni, all customers to Orange Shop Galleria. Visit your nearest orange outlet and get connected to the festive season. We'll be right back with more after the break. The just concluded Kenya International Investment Conference has described Kenya as the next investment frontier. Let's look at the highlights of the launch. President Uhuru Kenyatta officially opened the 2014 Kenya International Investment Conference at KICC. Today, we display Kenya's investment opportunities. Today, we bring national, regional, and international investors together with the country's leadership. Today, we exchange ideas and we learn from each other's experience. My government welcomes investors from all parts of the world to 
complement our local investors. As Chairman of the Chamber of Commerce said, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, we go together. We believe we need to go together, local investment and our international investors. But also as Kenya, we are very clear. We want to also walk together with our brothers and sisters in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, investment is key to our economy. Without it, we cannot create the jobs that will sustain our young men and women or relieve the poverty that still disfigures the lives of our people. That is why my government is so assertively marketing the country and working to remove all obstacles that stand in the way of productive investment by investors, both local and international. Already, we have begun to modernize and expand railway infrastructure in the country. Our rail flagship project, the standard gauge railway that links Mombasa to Nairobi, and which eventually will knit our entire region together. We have recently commissioned 140 megawatts of geothermal another 70 which we 70 megawatts which again we will commission early December all these are core part of our manifesto commitment to generate 5,000 megawatts of power by 2017 my government also launched a single window electronic clearing system to hasten clearance of imports and exports we have also cut the container transit time along the Mombasa to Kampala route from 22 days to 6 days. Export and import procedures are now handled under one electronic framework. We are also accelerating our commitments to bilateral investment treaties, as was mentioned, and the signing of double taxation agreements with our key investing and trading partners. We have deepened regional integration to improve the attractiveness of the region investors and to ensure that we prosper with our neighbors. Indeed, we are working to establish a free trade area across the East African community, Comesa and Sadak regions, creating a market of nearly 600 million people. Let me close by thanking you for honoring us and attending this important conference. And I also wish to thank the Ministry of East African Affairs, Commerce Tourism, the Kenya Investment Authority, the Kenya Promotion Council, the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce, the Private Sector Alliance, for the effort you have made to organize and make this conference a success. The government plans to set up a state-of-the-art one-stop center to provide seamless and efficient services to investors. The center brought government ministries and agencies involved in investment facilitation under one roof. Your Excellency, Cabinet Secretaries, County Governors present, distinguished investors and development partners, ladies and gentlemen. It is my immense pleasure to welcome you to this, our first international investment conference. 51 years ago, our forefathers set out on a journey towards attaining a country devoid of hunger, poverty and disease. A spirited nation bound together by unity of purpose was born. Today, 51 years wiser, more innovative, more educated, more determined, we stand together not only to eradicate the things our forefathers set out to do, but also bound together by a social economic fabric that brings the world together for economic purpose. It is, for this, it is with this idea in mind that we set out to have this investment conference. One of the questions posed to us today was what next? Well, put on your seatbelts because we have big plans for Kenya. Next year, we're going to have an investment week, which will include tourism, investment, and trade. We've set the date, it's 15th of November to the 20th of November. But Your Excellency, we're not going to stop there. We feel that Kenya is ready and able now to hold the World Economic Forum. After all, our brothers in Africa have done it, 
and we feel we're more than ready to do it ourselves. Your Excellency, investors into Africa and specifically to Sub-Saharan Africa continue to defy the dreary headlines that we read on every occasion. Foreign direct investment has increased despite these dreary headlines and by the World Bank's own admission, it has gone up to 32.5 billion this year and expected to increase even further next year. Let me leave you with the words of an American entrepreneur, the founder of GoDaddy companies, Bob Parsons. He reminds me of the words that say, we must never stop investing. We must never stop improving. We must never stop doing something new. Our new car in Kenya is an example of where Kenya is determined to go. Welcome to unlimited possibilities. Thank you. The government embarks on developing a comprehensive national investment policy that will streamline incentives currently offered to investors and other promotion aspects such as local content and joint ventures. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to this inaugural Kenya International Investment and Trade Conference 2014, whose theme is Invest in Kenya, the hub of East and Central Africa. The aim of this conference is to showcase Kenya as an excellent investment and tourist destination, as well as to expose to the international community the variety of Kenyan products that we export. Your Excellency, with this conference, we have partnered with the counties and also key, key partners from the private sector. The county governments are the new frontiers and centers of investments where value addition can and shall take place and where jobs can be created. Many opportunities abound in these counties and I encourage our investors to seek more information regarding what is available at the county level. Your Excellency, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't know that in Nigeria they import butter from New Zealand. We wouldn't have known that in the Democratic Republic of Congo they import chicken from Brazil. All these are opportunities for Kenyan businesses and for Kenyan exporters. So this agenda is important. It is one that we will continue to work with you and support going into the future. Your Excellency, what we want to do with the Chamber, and you challenged us here a few months ago, is we want to ensure that the business person, that every small business person in this country has a voice. We want in, next, in the year 2015 to register every trader, every fishmonger, every taxi owner into the Chamber agenda so they too can have a voice in the economic agenda that you have for this country. We believe there's enough, there's enough voices for big business, there's a session of manufacturers, there is Kepsa, but we really want to go down to the grassroots to support that business person who makes the economy of this country tick. I also want to say in conclusion, Your Excellency, that uh, we will be presenting a host of uh, proposals during the round table in two weeks' time. And, uh, you know, my friend Christian Turner had said that, uh, you know, we, we, we get visas here. But the truth of the matter is business people still have a lot of, it's very laborious to get visas. And we will be presenting some proposals to see if there can be a fast-track mechanism. I think people like Chris Kirubi here and Manu Chandaria, when they apply for visas, they're not really trying to leave the country. They have too much investment here. We would like a mechanism to help them fast-track to get visa applications. So with those few words, Your Excellency, I'll close with the words of Chinua Achebe, who said, if you want to walk fast, walk alone. But if you want to walk far, walk together. Thank you. The conference provided a forum where the 47 counties showcased existing investment and business opportunities with a focus on Vision 2030 flagship projects to local, regional, international investors, stakeholders, and policy makers. Home Africa is a real estate company, actually the only, the only listed home, home, uh, real estate company in Kenya. 
We have several projects that are ongoing. There's one in Kisumu, it's called Lakeview. There's one in Kembu, it's called Miga, which is our flagship project. We have Kantafu in uh, Roy, and we have Lango in Mombasa. The most unique thing about Home Africa is uh, the green space that we have in uh, Miga. We have 50% green, and we have an 18-year-old 18, 18 golf course, and uh, it's uh, been designed for everyone. Okay, what we tend to achieve is that we, we tend to, to have more exposure about uh, people to get to know more about our project and uh, for the ones who have already bought to know the, the completion rate. What is available? We have uh, apartments that are ready in Mitini. They'll be ready for occupation by February. Uh, we have plots that are uh, available in, uh, at the golf course, Miga Golf Course. We have plots in uh, Lakeview. We have plots in Kantafu. Well, we are a company that provides African entrepreneurs with a, with a place to work from. And by that I mean that they, they, have a full, they meet a fully furnished office that meets their needs. Right from the word go when they want to, to come up, to come to us, they will find an office that has a, a, ready, a ready, ready furniture, um, internet infrastructure put in place, um, reception, IT support, uh, refuse removal and cleaning, all that done done for them, and uh, we, we, we give a monthly cost to cater for all that. That saves them the, the hassle of um, you know doing this on their own. And we have packages for SMEs, we have packages for national and multinational corporates. The people coming to this conference are investors or are local Kenyan entrepreneurs, and uh, these guys have business ideas or they have an uh, agenda to play in the, in, in the country and we are looking to support that by giving them a place where they will set up first, where they will uh, have their offices uh, you know, within, within the shortest time possible. So that's what brings us here. has been recognized as the hub for both East and Sub-Sahara Africa, becoming a one-stop center, providing seamless services for both local and international investors across all sectors. On our accessory spot, let's find out what is available in home decor featuring inspiring designs and colors. Niliingia hii biashara kwa sababu nilikuwa nimejaribu biashara nyingine nyingi na pia kazi nyingine nyingi nikakuta kwamba hazina manufaa kwangu wakati nimeingia katika hii biashara nikaona kuna venye inaweza nifaidi kuliko hizo kazi zingine ya kuna misimu kwa sababu kama unakuta kuanzia mwezi wa Januari mpaka kuelekea mpaka mwezi wa sita kuna challenges kwa sababu kazi iko chini kulingana na vile watu wana wanapeleka watoto shuleni ambapo hapo mtu hawezi kuja kununua furniture mtu anatafuta kwanza school fees ya watoto lakini sasa kuanzia hapo uh, June to December at least kazi huanga iko juu kulingana na sasa at least mtu amesweto amepandiliza bills za school fees na nini so they can tafuta hizi furniture price range inategemea ni kitu gani kwa sababu kuna varieties za kwa, kwa soko like unaweza kuta kitanda kuna range kuanzia uh, alf sita kuendelea juu. The same kuna coffee table kuanzia elfu nne kuendelea juu. So inategemea mkustoma anataka nini. Uh, malipo tuko na malipo like mtu akikuja kuoda kitu especially za order mtu anapatiana deposit ya 50% depending na uwezo wake na pia wakati ule ama ni pesa ngapi ametembea nazo lakini mostly kuna deposit ya 50% then the balance anakuja kukilia wakati anakuja kubeba nini staff zake. Uh, mostly tunatumia mbao, mbao inaitwa mahogany kutoka Congo which is very expensive food. Tunafanya vitu kama dining table, kunafanya wardrobes, wall units na bookshelves design tofauti tofauti. Okay kunazo zile tuko nazo. Okay mteja pia akiwa na zake anaweza leta so tumtengenezee kitu kulingana na vile anataka.
With diverse options, you can add a little finesse to your furnishings and a tad more style to your home. On our property gallery, we bring a selection of properties and plots available in the market for you. Almond Grove is conveniently located along the Nairobi Namanga Highway, 3.7 kilometers from Kitengela Town. An ideal starter home offering a sizable lounge, dining room, fitted kitchen with utility area, and three cozy bedrooms with master ensuite. Impressive yet affordable, Almond Grove homes are priced perfectly for a fast home investment. The low prices reflect a latent potential for capital appreciation as the area continues to gain popularity. The launch price for Almond Grove is 7.7 .7 million Kenya shillings. Legacy Apartments are located along Naivasha Road, not too far from the Junction Shopping Center on half an acre plot. The apartments include studio units, one and two bedroom units, all designed to modern standards with an open plan living area and built with keen attention to detail. Common amenities include borehole, water supply, centralized aerials, DSTV connection, basement parking, lift access, and backup generator. These units are perfect for small families as well as an excellent investment. The launch price is 3.95 million Kenya shillings for the studio apartments, 5.5 million Kenya shillings for the one-bedroom apartment, and 9 million Kenya shillings for the two-bedroom apartments. A gated development in the leafy part of Kiambu Road offering pristine accommodation with high-level living standards. Located within minutes of Nairobi's Muthaiga roundabout, Edenville is a premier community development merging affordability with lifestyle to create a tranquil setting amidst nature in this up-and-coming location. After the successful completion of Edenville, Phase 1, Phase 2 looks to create a wholesome lifestyle experience. Common amenities include spacious recreation areas, playgrounds, community centers, shops, and office space. Edenville draws from the African culture of society living, creating communities where architectural flair has a keen eye for the environment to create an atmosphere basking in natural greenery. The launch price for Edenville 2 is 14.95 million Kenya shillings for the three-bedroom maisonette, 16.95 million Kenya shillings for the four-bedroom maisonette, and 24.95 million Kenya shillings for the four-bedroom villa. Essidai Plots, a four-acre parcel of serviced farmland within a gated setting, 14 kilometers from Imali Town on the newly tarmacked Oloitoktok Road, leading to Amboseli National Park and is 136 kilometers from Nairobi. Esidai spans a total of 100 acres and enjoys early morning views of the snow-capped peaks of Mount Kilimanjaro. The area has fertile red and rich black soils and a healthy water table, perfect ingredients for cultivation. Water is obtained through three boreholes for each individual farm. A central power transformer is also installed, ensuring connection via a three-phase line to individual farmers. An on-site management team ensures security of the farms together with general maintenance and upkeep of the land. A single manned entrance gate and peripheral fencing of treated timber posts and galvanized wire with trees planted along create a secure and accessible community of 25 individual farms. Esidai is ideal for development of a small farm and farmhouse. The launch price for Esidai plots is 4.5 million Kenya shillings. In the coming weeks, the property show will be organizing bus tours to selected properties. Visit our offices and website for detailed information on other properties and plots.
Thank you for watching The Property Show. This is where you get noticed as a developer with commercial, residential or leisure establishments, including service providers for exposure across the country and beyond. We appreciate your continued feedback and welcome suggestions on topics you'd like us to address in our future shows. Stay connected with The Property Show through our website, like us on Facebook, engage us on Twitter, and visit our offices. See you next Sunday for yet another comprehensive show on the media authority on all things property. There is something for everyone. Kwaheri!